Another important day. Happy Mother's Day. Right? Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. All of us came from the mother at one point or another. And it's funny, I don't know if you can see this screen here, but I came across this book. I have to buy it. It's called Why Mommy is a Democrat. <laughs> you can find it on Amazon. I think that would make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. Uh, but Why Mommy is a Democrat should be on every, every one of our shelves at home, okay? So, so there's my Mother's Day plug. Uh, I wish all of you... Um, with children uh, and, and who have mothers and just yeah, I hope you just have a beautiful day I look forward to it myself every year um, next week is also an election week uh, for those of you that live in Ware Shoals uh, or live in the 96 school districts there are school board elections now you heard me speak about how important school boards are Right? They, they, when you get some bad members of the school board in, then the school's not running well. They're focused on extreme book banning and other crazy things, and they're not focused on budgets and on ensuring the kids get the best education. They're worried more about culture wars. Uh, so 96 really has a competitive race. There are two seats up for election on the 96 school board and six candidates who have stepped up. It is a nonpartisan race. And from what I've seen, none of these names have said anything extreme. Uh, there is an uh, index journal article that you can read their individual biographies, and we put that in our newsletter. So if you got our email newsletter, look for that link from a couple of days back, and you can read about those candidates if you're in the 96 school district. Where Shoals also has an election. They've got two seats open, but only two candidates signed up. So the election is really just a formality for where souls. It's important to show up, just to even say hi to the poll workers. They get lonely at times. Uh, but otherwise, we already know who those seats are gonna go to. Questions about the election on May 9th? All right. Then next weekend, Saturday, May 20th, we are working with the Boys and Girls Club to do a service project that is gonna be our May community care movement activity. Uh, last month we did the Easter egg hunt, we did the road cleanup. Uh, this month it's gonna be giving back to the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, that is, they are hosting our fish fry. They're great members of the community. Senator Nicholson was on the board, I believe, of the Boys and Girls Club. Great proponent, Wanda Moore, who was near and dear to our hearts. Uh, that was her life as well as the Boys and Girls Club. So we embrace them and uh, we don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet, to Wanda, who is our community care coordinator, who's speaking with them, and we should know the exact time. But if you can show up on May 20th um, and, and do some work, in fact, you can see Ricardo there in the picture here. We worked on painting their benches a couple of years back from the rusty red to a bright blue, democratic blue. All right, we wanna paint the entire inside blue too, I think, but if, if they'll let us. No, I honestly don't know what we're going to do or what they need, but we will be there to do service for them. So stay tuned. We'll have it out in email. We'll have it out in our social medias.